Hello and welcome to this MindFusion WinForms chart tutorial. Here we'll show you how to build a line chart with two series that read their data and labels from Microsoft SQL Database. Here is the design scheme of the database. We have two tables and two table adapters. Let's start by drag and drop of a line chart control on the form. We anchor it on all four sides to make sure it changes size when we resize the form. We now add the first chart series. It is of type data bound series. We assign the data source in the constructor and add the series to the series collection of the chart. The title property of the series is important because it shows in the legend. The X data field and Y data field properties set the names of the database fields that we'll use to read the data. We use the X axis labels data field to specify the DB field that provides the labels for the X axis. Finally, the tooltips data field sets the data for the tooltip, which is also retrieved from the database. Let's run the application. As you can see, the chart now has one series. In similar way, we add the second series. It reads the data from the other table adapter, but the properties that we use are the same. The X data field property in both series uses the same data, which makes the chart easier to read. Now our chart has two series. Let's customize the axes. The x-axis has min value, max value and interval properties, which we use to adjust the axis. We repeat the same procedure for the y-axis. Let's not forget to change the chart title. Now let's run the chart. We need to make some more adjustments. First, let's use the date time format property to change the format of date time labels. Second, let's hide the default x-coordinates that appear at the x-axis. We also change the chart title. Now the chart looks as it should as a structure. Time to pay attention to styling. The theme property lets us assign a new theme. The common series fills and stroke properties specify the brushes used for painting the series. These colors are also used by the legend. The legend border stroke and legend background properties let us customize the legend. Here we go. Let's remove the legend title and add a grid. 
The grid type is horizontal and the grid colors are white and gray. This is the final chart. We hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching and thank you for your interest in MindFusion components.